Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 204. In today's episode, 6,000 dogs work at Amazon. 6,000 dogs. Amazon loves dogs. Just ask one of the 6,000 pooches that work there. On a typical day at Amazon headquarters in Seattle, employees share their space with as many as 6,000 of their four-legged friends. Every day is Bring Your Dog to Work Day, a long-standing tradition at the e-commerce company. Having dogs in our workplace is an amazing treat. They make employees smile, and we're proud that this is such a uniquely Amazonian tradition. It's truly ingrained in our company culture, explains Lisa Hirschfeld, Amazon's Wolfpack manager. That is (laughs) W-O-O-F. Our our employees love bringing their dogs to work and love meeting their coworkers' dogs. According to a company blog post, the tradition started with a dog named Rufus. In the early days of Amazon.com, a husband and wife team brought Rufus, their Welsh corgi, to work with them, and he became a surprisingly productive part of the team. Employees would symbolically use Rufus's paw to click the computer mouse to launch some of the earliest pages of Amazon.com. Although Rufus has long since crossed the rainbow bridge, his contributions and presence during the early days are not forgotten. There are photos of him around campus, and there's even an Amazon building in South Lake Union that was named after the beloved Corgi. On a typical day, thousands of dogs follow in Rufus's paw steps. If you land on an Amazon 404 page, you'll be introduced to some of the dogs that come to work with their owners regularly. And office perks aren't just for employees. Pooches get them, too. Reception desks in every office building are a must-stop to snag dog treats. A building on the Amazon campus has a doggy deck, complete with a fake fire hydrant where dogs can run around. The neighborhood has no sorts of poop bag stations, designated dog relief areas, and dog-friendly water fountains. Amazon has opened a community off-leash dog park in Denny Triangle neighborhood for employees and dogs in the community to enjoy. It features rocks and other structures for dogs to play on. Amazon also sponsors dog-related events for employees throughout the year. It's no secret that having dogs at your office is good for morale. It's also a known stress buster. And according to the Amazon company blog post, the benefits don't stop there. The dog-friendly policy also contributes to the company's culture of collaboration. As Hirschfeld notes, dogs in the workplace is an unexpected mechanism for connection. I see Amazonians meeting each other in our lobbies and elevators every day because of their dogs. Woof, woof. Woof, woof. Our office allows dogs, too. Just saying. Yeah, I have a dog-friendly policy in my office. <laughs> Our offices have dog friendly. Uh, I I just love I love this story. I mean I don't know what what you would say about this. There's you know it, it's just a good feel good story. Um, I'm all for the dog friendly. Just the, the fact there's six thousand of them. Like, this that's what caught my eye is that there's six thousand six thousand dogs. And they're just in the Amazon headquarters, like that's kind of crazy, right? Six thousand. Well, so. Take that number, and then I guess you'll figure out how many people actually work there. A lot. Is it twenty-four thousand? Is everyone? Is how many? Is what? What's the dog-to-person ratio? Yeah, it's well, it's not. It doesn't say here. We need some hard-hitting journalism. We need to know what's going on here. I need answers. <laughs> I need answers. Uh, I need answers. Uh, yeah. Is there anything much to say about that? Yeah, not much to say about this. Just a feel-good, feel-good story. Just, yep. If you don't have dogs in your office, you should. You should. It'll make you feel good. All right. Anything else? Mm, I have a dog. Have, get, a, get yourself a dog. Man's best <laughs> friend. All right, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion, 
or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.